Thank you very much for the nice introduction. Uh, thanks for, for having me. Um, so yeah, I will talk about continual learning, uh, which is something that's really close to my heart and that I think should get more attention. So I took the opportunity to um, talk about this and um, not just focusing on my own contributions, but, but really why I think this is important and this is some uh, direction that we should consider more often uh, and as a community uh, rather than the more restrictive traditional um, view where you have a static data set as already mentioned in, in the introduction. Uh, now before diving into continual learning I want to show a bit the, the bigger picture. Uh, so what yeah, I call my, my research vision my long-term vision or of, of where I think I, I would like to, to go. Uh, and um, I do so based on these four different themes that uh, people in my lab are uh, working on. Uh, so I, I have a lab at KU Leuven, where I have some of the most wonderful PhD students, postdocs, uh, working with me, not only on continual learning, but also dynamic architectures, self-supervised learning, and multimodal learning. And maybe at the start, these seem very diverse topics, but to me, they're all kind of linked together and ultimately should converge to, to one big solution, like the next generation of AI, if you want. So let me explain that a bit more um, in, in detail. So continual learning is really the setting where we say, okay, we want to have AI that can adapt to changing a changing environment. Uh, there's continuously new data, new tasks, new categories that become available. And actually what we would like to have is systems that can keep on learning over time. So rather than just train and then you deploy, they continuously improve their models so that they get better and better at the tasks they want to solve and they can do more than they could before. Uh, and so that's what this talk will, will focus on. And I'll get into much more detail there uh, within a few, few minutes. Uh, but let me first explain the links with, with the other stuff. Uh, next is dynamic architectures. And the link there is, pretty clear, whereas with continual learning, we try to adapt during the learning stage. Uh, 